Raindrops on the white chalk Hearts lay on the sidewalk Blame it on the sirens once again Blame it on the sirens once again Raindrops Welcome to thisisrnb.com Thank you for logging in today to speak with us, Thank Arrow. Uh, love your music, love your voice. Thank um, you. It's just like so stoic, the tone in it. Thank I you, love man. it. I love it. And so we were kind of talking about, you know, vibrancy and how some things we've had to do during this quarantine. Yeah. But thank yeah. God for artists like you, because oh, we man. did not have creatives like you. I don't I know what that. we would do. I, I have been that. on my Instagram more than ever looking at different live videos, looking at different yep. songs. And it's yep. definitely been an opportunity to create. So talk yep. about how you've done that during the pandemic, how you seized opportunities to be creative. Well, I, I think firstly, I, um, you know, somebody said to me once before, you know, um, in reference to songwriting, write the songs that you need to hear. Mm. So when you speak about like, how did I go about being creative? Well, firstly, I recognized that I had to be creative because that's a solution. It, it's not um, just a, you know, entertaining tool. It's a solution to sanity, to lifting up spirit. Um, it's, um, it's hope, you, you, you know? So yeah, for me, I, it was, I was always gonna do it. Um, the key was to be able to find others that understood the value in it and also understood the value in okay so we in an unprecedented time please can we not use this moment to uh can we take a break from the norm and you know just creating stuff for you know like ooh baby ooh baby i'm like there ain't no ooh baby time right now everyone's too stressed <laughs> out to ooh baby you know <laughs> like you know so yeah you know um you know i always like use the example of um i'm lying i don't always use it but i of recent in my journey i've i've started to uh uh, come to an un a bigger understanding on the likes of um, what is the gentleman's name, um, Marvin Gaye. What's going on? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the mm -hmm. ability to create something that made you feel like, mm, but there was, but, but, but it it had something more depth to it. Yes, you know? absolutely. You know, so I'm not going to tell someone how to do their thing. All I'm going to do is say, can we just go a little deeper? Right. Mm -hmm. So. Right. Yeah. And that song rings true. That song, I would say, is about almost 40 years old now. Yeah. It's, and it's still true. Yes, yes. Picket lines. Yeah. Don't punish me with brutality. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, it, the lyrics yeah. still ring true. And that's something about music, because it's yeah. timeless. And yes. I believe that's, that's definitely the measure of an artist when they create something that is timeless. Yeah. And, yeah. It, and you've already created some timeless music with Beyonce. I <laughs> I, I Kendrick Lamar, that. like th those are already just phenomenal hallmarks in your career. So talk a little bit about that. How did you connect with Beyonce? Wow. Um, so um, the first thing I'm going to say, and you're going to hear me say the first thing I'm going to say, because it's like my little disclaimers. Yeah. Um, I believe in destiny, not, not coincidence. Yep. Yeah? So I, I don't believe that I was the one that did anything. You Absolutely. know, um, I believe I'm, I'm either going to obey you know, to the path, you know, um, and, and walk in the path, or I'm going to think I know better, you know, and mm -hmm. I'm going to find out the hard way that I don't, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. so, um, you know, many people have many, get many opportunities in life. And some people are, you know, praying for, you know, these big opportunities. Um, but the truth is when they come, they will struggle to be themselves. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that um, what I learned in reference to working with artists like Beyonce is that the most important thing for you to do is to be yourself. Um, right. Not trying to get, not try to get into the mind of the artist and think, you know, well, what did he or she do on their last album? Or, you know, in the tabloids, it says this and it's, it's like, be yourself. That's, right. the, that's the priceless commodity. So when you, you know, ask about like, how did that happen? Um, I believe firstly it was written to happen. It was written for someone to appear to come from nowhere and suddenly be working not once but twice with one of the biggest artists in the world. Right. Some stuff is written, you know, you, you got to put the work in, but some stuff, you know, I, I always say to people that, you, you know, um, you can't outwork a slave, but 
you know, it doesn't mean that just because, you know, they say like, oh, hard work pays off. No, it, it doesn't always pay off because sometimes there's people that will completely outwork you for the rest of their lives and never attain or achieve or see what you've seen, mm. you know, or, 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 you know, or attained. So it's got to be a destiny part in this. There has to be a part of it. Because yeah, everybody doesn't get, everybody don't get the same portion, you exactly. know. Exactly. Um, exactly. So, yeah. There's a saying that favor isn't fair. That kind of reminds me of that. Like, yeah. it's, if, if, if it's your destiny, if God meant it, or the universe, or there's a bigger yeah. force out there than you. There's something bigger than you. That is going to make, yeah. make things. And I'm with you, like, the older I get, I don't believe in co coincidence. I don't believe mm -hmm. that, oh, this just so happened to happen. No, it was nah. a reason that we were yeah. put together. It was a reason that these chain of events happened yes. in this way. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And, and it helps with accountability. When everything is coincidence, there is no accountability. Oh, good point. You know? It's just roll the dice again. Oh, let's just roll the dice again. Let's just roll the. No, at some point we have to stop rolling the dice and understand the rules of engagement in the game and decide whether or not we're playing or we're not playing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, I love it. So you, I want to talk about a little bit about um, the anthems that you've okay. made, like with with freedom and sirens. Let's talk about sirens. That's kind of like the sister song to freedom to me, in a way. <laughs> When I heard it, it reminded me of, and of course, knowing that you were the same yeah. person who yeah. did it, I'm thinking like, this sounds like, just like a follow-up to, to freedom. And it's so appropriate for now. So of course, you probably, you're welcome. So of course, you're probably, is, is all of the Black Lives Matter, the resurgence of it, is that what prompted you to do Sirens? So I'm going to tell you, you, I was watching, um, is it Walter? My, my mind has gone now. The, the, the brother who basically got shot in the back. Um, oh, Walter Scott, okay. I think. Walter Scott. Walter Scott. I think, Walter yes. Scott. Yes. So um, I remember being in the studio and I was compiling some records for the hymn book, uh, which, mm. you know, is the, my album that I'm basically getting ready to drop. So okay. just before I'm, before I'm like, I'm ready to go with the album, the album, and suddenly I see something that takes me out of my mold, takes me out of business as usual. And I'm like, who's gonna tell his story? You know, but people can, people like, people can tell these stories like from an abstract, but I, I had this feeling like when the, when the, when, when the, you know, individual, the perp who perpetrated the crime, <laughs> that's an easy way for me to just put it without saying anything else, um, leaned over into the face of, of the, of the life that, you know, was just taken out, yeah, uh, ruthlessly. What was the conversation from one soul to another? Mm. You no, know, um, because I believe that no matter who fronts that, you know, I, I'm stone cold and I'm my, my uh, you know, I, I, my, I'm, I'm ice and I don't feel nothing. Everybody feels something. Right. Everybody feels something. Um, right. And even you know those who have become de heavily desensitized, there's there, there's a there's a pin for every bubble. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> You know, so I, I felt like I suddenly felt like it wasn't I didn't need to write another song. I, I just needed to um, I needed to let somebody know that I still had a voice, even though my my, my knees had failed and, and, and I'm now on the floor and you, you can't see my eyes because, you know, I've, I've shut shut down, but I still have a voice and I wanted to basically, you know, I wanted to be a part of uh, sharing that voice. You know, because pain is universal. You know, trauma is universal. It tra trauma is not like, um, well, you know, well, if you got a certain amount of money, you won't experience trauma. That's a lie. Right. Right. You know, this or if right. You, if you live it's in a the hills, equalizer. Yeah. Yeah. Like tears. I tell people all the time, it's like tears. It's like no matter who you think you are, I guarantee you, cut your tears are the same color as mine. You know, and they fall. This they, they fall. They fall and they hit the ground. And sometimes you taste them and they're salty. That's universal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah, so I, I, I just wanted to, I wanted to uh, document the moment. It, it wasn't another song. I wanted to document the moment and also stop fronting. I wanted to stop fronting on, on you know, let's get another um, running. Let's get another free. Let's get a, let's, let's stop trying to get anything and just document the time. Oh. So you wrote Sirens around the time Walker Scott. So 
um, I don't know, I don't think I wrote it exactly when it happened, but for some strange reason, I was convicted to, to go and find this image. I didn't even know his name, you know, forgive me. Oh. I didn't know his name, but something said, go and find this image of this man, you know, basically running for his life. Yep. Yeah. And then I watched this image and then I turned like, all there was no sound. And suddenly, you know, like, it's no different. Like I write like this, I wait, you know, I, I don't go in there with the tabloid or go in there, you know, with the uh, playlist, uh, what's it, what do they call it? Uh, Friday, who's Friday looking list or whatever. I, right. I don't work like that. I, 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 I go in and I try and establish a sense of gratitude in my own self for right. being in that place and for being with the potential collaborators. And then we talk and we break bread and I just wait. You know, I just wait for what I call like the heavenly download. And and, and this was what was meant to happen. You know, I I, I didn't, it, I don't think I, I steered the ship for this. In reference to the Beyonce situation, we were specifically writing something, you know, with, with, an, with an idea, whereas this wasn't about that. And even though in the narrative they, they relate, um, this one, I feel like for me, this um, was me saying to myself, don't forget where you come from, right. you know? Don't forget where you come from. You, you, yes, you you know, you can write some amazing things and people really appreciate you. Some people love your tone, some people prefer your writing, whatever it is, is irrelevant in this moment right now. Right. You need to tell the truth. You need to tell somebody else's story and stop trying to, you know, tell your own and get people to buy into you. Right, I love that. And that's, that's the selflessness of an artist. Because a lot of times artists do create for themselves, but they also yeah. know that they're creating to touch someone else. Yes. So yes. I love that. And Sirens definitely does that. So was it was it purposeful that you all released it around this time though? Around that was very purposeful. That okay. was yeah, I, I um when when the when the gifts start haunting you, <laughs> then you have to share them. You, okay. you, you remember that game like um where people I think, do they call it like pass the parcel when the music's playing and then you get the gift and you have to unwrap it? And okay. Yeah, it's that We've moment. we never played that. That might be a, you, I, I've never played that, but that sounds like a good baby shower game. Yeah, 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 really good. And I got lots of babies, so that maybe that's where I got it from. <laughs> so, no, yeah, no, serious. It's like the music's playing and you're passing the, the, the gift around, which is wrapped in lots of, uh, like lots of paper or wrapping paper or whatever. And then once the music stops, you, you have to try and rip the, the, you know, get to the gift. Yep. And I feel like for me, um, in reference to Sirens and in reference to this narrative of my, you know, this part of my being, the music stopped for too long and, and I, I wasn't unpacking anything. Uh, you, you know, I was just, I kept trying to keep passing around, but some, you know, back to Destiny again, Destiny says, no, you got to unpack something here um, and you got to stand by it. And you have to, like, I have this strap line where I say more than entertainment. Yeah. Right. Um, you have to you, you have to live it now, and stop just hashtagging. You know, right, you, right now you got a good rep. You know, oh, you have a record with Beyonce, and you've done this big record, and this big movie, and you've been on that, and you blah blah. Okay, but does that mean that you are blind? Right. Does that mean that you are deaf? Um, or are you going to speak? And it's easy again to speak with a post, but your art does not reflect. Mm. And I love, I love how you recently tweeted, you said, have we become professionals as standing for the effect and novices as standing for the cause? Yeah. And, I, and I love how, like you said, it, it, and I believe that in a way, and also referring to a quote that Nina Simone had as the responsibility as artists, we should reflect the world. Yes. We should, art should yes. reflect the world. Yeah. So talk about, talk more about that, about more than entertainment, how, do you feel it's your responsibility? Because some artists, um, I, I guess sometimes I feel like some artists should take on the responsibility, but we can't always expect artists yeah. to be responsible, to be that voice. But there are some artists who play that role. So what is your position on that? And explain a little bit more about more than entertain. I think um, ultimately you got to follow your convictions. You you will you will get a you will get that 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 feeling, that gripping in your stomach that says you need to speak. Um, and I don't think everybody needs to uh, rush to speak because not everybody is the best speaker, you know? 
Um, <laughs> and it doesn't mean that I'm a, the best speaker, but it means that even if I'm a terrible speaker, something is, is causing me to do it. This is not fashionable. You know, it's not fashionable to to make records that basically reveal the trauma, you know, and, and the struggle of being you or someone that looks just like me. Um, that, that's that's nothing to celebrate. You know, somebody else may say, you know, well done, you did. It. But the truth is that, that that's that's audio pain. That's melodic pain we're talking about. Yep. Um, and if it doesn't actually lift you up out of that place, then then I'm, I'm no different to certain institutions that just uh, perpetuate that narrative. And that's not, that's not what I want to get into. I, I just, for me, wanted to say, um, I have a bigger responsibility than just to entertain you. Um, and, and you've been faithful, you know, to invest in me uh, and support me on the inter entertainment race. You know, you know, like it's a relay on that last leg. That was that. But on this leg, you know, I have to be responsible and, and accountable. And, you know, it, now this time it's not about who supports and who doesn't support. This is about your, your convictions and your callings, right. you know. This is about, for me, my ultimate supporter. This is about my creator. This is about, you know, do I believe that, you know, in love, 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 and everybody should love, that we should also deny truth, you know, mm. and love, 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 should we deny justice? Um, you know, um, yeah, I, I don't think so. I think, I think that we talk about the lamb a little bit too much and not enough about the lion. Mm. <laughs> you know. So I wanted to also ask you about, is it live vinyl? or live vinyl? So it's it, it's any which one you want to choose. And let me tell you why I say that. Okay. When we speak of, when you say live vinyl, when people think of vinyl, they think of a record. Right, right. But that was what I was I'll, thinking. Yeah, so we're, we're down for that. We're down for the, the live vinyl. We're down for the live vinyl. But the, the key, the key uh, word in that is how we spell vinyl, which is the V-Y-N-L, which stands for victory you never lose. Oh, okay. So it's an acronym. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Victory you never lose. Okay. Yeah. Firstly, it's to let you know that your victory comes from a higher place. Your victory comes from a higher place and, and it's innate. It's in your DNA. The victory is in your DNA. When I speak about the race, the truth is we've already cr crossed the finish line. We've already won. This is like a rerun, you know? <laughs> um, and because I believe in destiny, that's how it works. If not, I would be spinning around like a headless chicken trying to work out what's going to happen next. And then you worry, then there's fear. All these things attack the immune system. We shouldn't be living like that. Right. We shouldn't be living like that. No. We we, we have to live with a peace that is, is, is right. going to be all right and it is already all right. Right. We were not given a spirit of fear. Absolutely. No, 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 no. no Absolutely. No. no. So, so it's your production company? Is your production company? My it's the whole outfit. It's the, okay. It, 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 it's, it's, the, it's our lifestyle. Okay. You know, that's why I said you can have live and live. Okay. It's a lifestyle. It's a. It's something that we need to that we get up and we remind ourselves when we have little moments of you know uncertainty. We're like, remember, even when someone you know appears to have you know, hold on, did they get one up on us in that situation? They're like, never, because this is victory <laughs> you never lose. Talk about the journey from Dean to Errol. Like, right. first, how did you come up with your name? And right. how did you like, what was that transformation like from you becoming, you know, no longer Dean? I mean, you're still Dean, of course, but becoming yeah. Arrow Benjamin. So, um, basically, I'm going to tie in Arrow Benjamin and Live Vinyl. Yep. So I'm going to tell you that, um, you know, like sometimes there's some people who are so talented, but nobody tells them. So they, they make it up in their mind that, you know what? I'm going to take that negativity. I'm going to turn it around for positive and I'm going to, I'm going to show them. I'm going to show them. That wasn't my story. <laughs> no, I was always cherished, always loved, always celebrated. Mm -hmm. But I think on the flip side, what that can do is cause a laziness. Mm. Yeah. You say growing um, up in your home, your upbringing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And just everywhere I went, everywhere, like it was like, oh my gosh, you, you were so amazing. You sing your voice, blah, 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 blah. Right. And I'm like, I just got so comfortable being accepted that mm. I, I that, that I didn't that that my muscles were not fully formed. Yep. Okay. So now when you start walking into some real, you know, real life and some real, you know, 
some real life, some real rejection, some real challenges, you know, some real against the tide, suddenly you you, cr you crash. Like you, you don't know, what is this? You know, I, I don't want you to worship me, but at least give me a break. No, no break. Go and get your muscles up. Right. Go and pay your dues. Be challenged. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I feel like what, what I did for the longest time is had all this, you know, ability um, I won't even call it talent. I had all this ability. I knew I had the ability, but I hid a lot, you know? Mm. So um, I would make a record and somebody would be like, oh my gosh, it's crazy. I said like, yeah, well, I made this record for someone, for somebody else to sing. And they'll be like, okay, not sure why that, but okay. And then they go <laughs> around trying to get, trying to get somebody else to sing it. But I sang it uh, without the worry or the concerns of industry and all these different things and judgment. So I did it in a way that wasn't created for somebody else just to be able to replicate it. Mm -hmm. So now they're coming to me, they're like, oh, we've been to, to the east, to the west, to the south, and nobody can deliver it how you've delivered it. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. That's not my business. That's not my business. You, you're trying to draw me out, you know, and I'm, I'm not ready to go out. Like, so there, there, there was a lot of, um, a lot of hiding. Um, and then I got to a point in my career where the songs that I was doing, I no longer saw other people sung, singing them. I, I, like I could distinguish between the song I wrote for somebody else and something that had a deeper connection to me. Um, and what I, um, what I say sometimes is that it's, it's as if there's some certain songs started to haunt me, you know? Um, and every time when I would hear them, I would literally, you know, I'd be in meetings and I'd have black glasses on, you know, have my shades on. And I'd literally like signal to my business partner or to my manager, like, yo, 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 handle this. Cause the tears would just be able to start to fall. Wow. And that's when I knew that it was more than entertainment. That's when I knew it wasn't because I'm, you know, sit seated in the highest level of the, um, of the building, talking to the CEO, the MD, the chair. It was like, no, this is, it's almost like their, their voices just became um, mute. You know, their voices became mute and all I could hear was, these words and they weren't they weren't like my words I, I weren't admiring them as my words they were going back to the things I needed to hear the mm. things I needed to get through the you know the the, 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 the trials and tribulations of life you know right. um the um like a band-aid for the battle in my mind you know it it, it, it was like that um mm. so but then I came to a place where I realized some of some of the greatest statements are, are said anonymously yeah but there's nothing like uh, a person who will stand by what they say. Absolutely. Um, people are in, I, you can inspire me if I can see you. <laughs> it's difficult for you to inspire me if I don't see you. Right. You know, so um, I, you know, I got to that place where I decided that, okay, I'm gonna share, but I need a name. And for the longest time, as I said, you know, I was taking some hits and I, I, I was starting to feel like a little bit like a loser, you know, because because I, I didn't know how to fight because I hadn't that, that muscle hadn't been developed. So here's where the, the tie in between victory, you never lose. Yeah. So the actual mission came before my name. Mm. The okay. mission. Yeah, the that mission makes sense. came that makes before sense. my name. That yeah, makes sense. I, I, I wasn't like an artist that was like, oh, you're an artist, you're doing well, you should have a company. No, the company and the responsibility came before my name. So, um, Arrow is a weapon. It's a silent weapon. Mm -hmm. It's a weapon of precision. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, and Benjamin is basically my link to my uh, biological father. Yeah, oh. it's, it's so so it's a legacy name. Okay, okay. Because so, are you by heritage West Indian? By heritage? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, tell me where I'm coming from. I, I say it, don't you know? Okay. Oh, <laughs> what, it's Jamaica. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, I man. loved it there. Oh my gosh, I want to go back. You've worked with so many people like Alicia Keys, Rudimental, yeah. Labyrinth, Tanache, Pharrell. Yeah. So. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about your creative process because you said when I you've written songs, you know, okay, this is a song for me or this is a song for another artist. So um, I definitely have had to learn more and more recently in my journey to uh, not be selfish. 
<laughs> yeah. So for me, an artist song for me or a song for somebody else shouldn't mean that there's a different uh, caliber of song. Mm. Yeah. Right. Or, 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 or I should intentionally let something lack depth because right. it's not for me. No. Right. But what I should do is remember this is a collaboration. So be open for somebody else's interpretation and perspective on a thing. But, but what, what, what I find with all of these artists, they they can get to work with anybody. Yeah. So firstly, why you're in the room is because Destiny said you're meant to be in the room. And, there's, and, and, and sometimes it's about two souls connecting and the song just becomes a byproduct of the two souls connecting. I don't jump in a room thinking I, I gotta get the song. I, I'm, I'm like, they can do it. All of them can do it without me. Every single one of them can do it without me. They want something else, yeah. And what they want is, in you know, being in a world where so you, you're surrounded by so many yes men and so many people that basically you know don't no longer recognize themselves. They just want someone who basically is in touch with themselves and can remind. The, you know, can help them to remind the world that, you know, it, it's okay to drown in the deep, but it's not okay to drown in the shallow, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. So the album is, you said it's going to be called Him? It's called The Hymn Book. The Hymn Book. And is that coming January 29th of 2021? So I have, there's two things happening. There's, I've got a couple more of these what's going on pieces that okay. I want to share. Yeah, there's a couple more, couple, couple more of those, the ones that were just like, you know, because, because, again, artists can do this. They can be all on one thing, and then they, you know, we we jump on a bandwagon because everybody else is is doing something, and now we've got this really conscious music, and and then everyone's like, oh my gosh, the side of you is so amazing, and then <laughs> the hashtags die down, and then everybody goes back to you know like, ooh babe, right. yeah, and right. I'm like, let me rub you, let me hug. Yeah, I'm like, yo, man, you're gonna, you're gonna rub me out. I'm a re I'm too much of that rubbing, <laughs> right? So, yeah, so, um, no, I, I got a couple more pieces that, um, that they, they relate. They, there's a thread, yeah, there's a thread. This is like the, I don't know, man, this is like maybe this is like the book of Revelation, like this, this is the, this is the battle zone, um, stuff, you know, okay, yeah, um. So yeah, no, on a serious note, they, I have a couple more records that they, they have the wait, so they shouldn't have to wait, you know? Mm, okay. Yeah, so th yeah, they, I have a couple of these records that are coming out, you know, within the next, like, I'm trying, I've let people wait for a long time while I figure my stuff out. And I feel like I've been trying to figure out perfection and, I, you know, and more and more I arrive at this point called um, my imperfection is is the perfection. So let's play a little game. A let's little play game. Play. So yeah. I've got you know we've got to hear that beautiful voice before we end, Arrow. I've got to hear just a little bit. I'll let's try. Play. We like I'll... to play. Right the hook. Right the hook. Wow. Right the hook. So I'm gonna give you a few words and I want you to write a hook, please. Whatever you want, whatever melody, harmony you okay. wanna make up. Don't so be I'm too, too many them words. Not too many words now. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, it's okay. actually, and it's gonna be words that you're familiar with more okay. than entertainment. Wow. See, okay. that should be an easy one. Write a All quick right. hook with that. All right, so see, see, the biggest challenge that you gave me was you called it a hook, yep. Because you didn't just say, give me, sing me something. You said hook, which means it has to be the hook. <laughs> Everybody can't write a hook, sister. <laughs> right, um, right. But I'm, I'm, I have faith that you can because you've you. done you. such phenomenal work. I appreciate so. you. So more, more than entertainment. Okay. Um, mm, okay. I don't know how you feel. But I know that it's real. And I show you the way. Cause I'm more than entertained. I don't know how you shout. But I know that I'm drowned out. Cause I'm more than you say. Yes, I'm more than entertained. I love it. See, you 
did that. Now, see, you handled that so well. Hey, I do it. Just more than entertainment. Well, Thank I you. have enjoyed you so much, Errol. Um, I look forward to hearing more after I look Sirens. To I, we will be definitely keep this is RB. Dot com in the loop um, and and we'll definitely um you know be in touch with you for future stuff thank uh, you I, I really enjoyed the conversation it was so enlightening this was definitely more than entertainment thank you i appreciate Thanks. it so you're welcome and i thank you are thank there you. any last words you want to leave it's your time it's your time yeah it's your moment in eternity it's your time as the doves cry red flares in the night sky